here we go. Courtney Dillon at CourtneyDillon.com, channeling my lovely son who I love uh, to also bring Aaron Carter to um, the an interview. He says, hi, mom. Love you. Um, so Eric, by the way, was um, goofing around earlier today in one of my sessions with one of the people. Um, he was flickering zoom so i'm telling him he's not allowed to do that today no stop it yeah i anyway. understand uh, as soon as you got around aaron carter you had a headache is that still there a little bit he's coming in okay okay he okay. Uh, he has a lovely energy actually he has um he is he says he's gained weight he looks better he's telling people okay he looks better um, he's wearing a white t-shirt and kind of like a jeans, jeans, black tennis shoes. All right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with us asking uh, you questions, Aaron? Uh, yes. Yeah. He's happy to do so. He says he doesn't know why you'd really want to ask him questions. He's not, oh, of course but he's, You're but he's happy to blood. do so. Yeah. You are very, yeah. Blood. He says he's, he's thankful. Um, and he feels a lot of love from his fans and his family. So he's just wants to say thank you to everybody who's, you know, mourned his, his passing. Mm -hmm. He's, he says he's in a better place. Of course. So mm -hmm. the first question, are you still hanging around or have you completely crossed over? Um, he's made, uh, it's a big smile. And he says he's, he's made his transition, but he's in what you call a rehab right now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that like um like what Eric went through, sort of ther therapy, so to speak? To uh yeah, he's a great. He's shaking his head yes, like this. It it's similar. Uh, you know, it's based on what you need. He's he's starting. He's understanding this. It's based on what you need. So there's some differences, but it's it's like a a program to especially in the condition that he was in. Yeah um to help him get on the other side of it okay yeah because yeah. when you first cross over there's still some humanness that comes with you so what does this rehab entail can you tell me like you know what what happened with the latest session you had for example all those there's no time but uh it's not really like sessions so much but it's like um introspection um there's there's learning there's a they do something with the energy this is i don't understand this part right. totally but he shows me he's it's interesting because he's able to speak to me right now you know obviously but he's also showing me like a rep like kind of like more like a rest okay. or like a period of rejuvenation that he's experiencing at simultaneously because they can do it's hard to explain but they can do both things at the same yeah, time sure. yeah um <clears throat> It, it's like an interest he's learning about himself learning about you know he's making he's laughing uh, like smiling learning about what went wrong yeah because a lot went wrong at the end um so he's really kind of working on himself it kind of reminds me of in, in eric's book um the blackness that eric that you went through is it something similar to that like a cleansing yes exactly uh, yeah it's very similar it's a deep rest feels like you're asleep but you have awareness okay sometimes of things happening or they'll, it's like you're sleeping but then they'll take you into a room and in this room there'll be people that will help you and teach you things okay. um he says it's it's very helpful it's yeah. been a lot more peaceful than how he was feeling mm -hmm. so he's he feels pretty good about it well, who is helping you with this rehab? Uh, he's got a, a male teacher. Eric's been helpful too. Oh, good, Eric. Thank you. Yeah. He's got a male. Eric and him have been in the last couple of days because he's been coming in, going to come in. He And before I do, I guess, um, he's been talking to Eric about his, you know, how he left. Yeah. Right. And there, there are some similarities, although there are some differences. Yeah. So <clears throat> he, 
is learning a lot from him. He's also learning from, it looks like an older male teacher who's one of his main soul group teachers. Oh. And he comes in specifically when a soul, this is what he's showing me, gets kind of like off track or yeah. out of balance. Like there's a specific teacher for that when the soul like makes a choice and gets really out of balance. Hmm. So he's wow. coming back into balance. There's a lot of rejuvenation that's needed for him right now. And it's been helpful. That's awesome. So um, what epiphanies have you come up with in, in your introspection and cleansing, so to speak? Uh, he says that addiction is a very painful road. Oh, yeah. And that I put people who didn't deserve it in harm's way due to my choices. Yeah. I'm regretful of this. I can also see how this happened to me. Okay, tell me about that. He's saying to me, that his family was not easy. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he'll leave it at that. Okay. We don't want to step on anybody's toes. Um, did you choose this exit point on some level? Was this an exit yes. point? Yeah. Was it your spiritual contract to, to uh, end your life the way you did? To die the way you did? It was a series of missed steps. Okay. It's like, it's almost like, uh, you know, yes, it was an exit point, but he made a series of choices that kind of landed him in this position, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Uh, and all that probably had to do with drugs or? Yes. Drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said drugs, he had a, he's showing me lots of different types of things. Um, <laughs> he's laughing, he's kind of making fun of me that I'm not like, you know. A con I don't know all this kind of stuff, but it's like lots of different types of drugs. Oh, so. what was your DOC, your drug of choice? Um, he took some, a uh, lots of, uh, he showed me bottles of pills. So there's a lot of pills and then some type of like device that he uses. I don't really get what it is. A what? Um, like he inhales something. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know what that is though. What is it, Eric? Um... Not good. Not good, Eric says. Okay, like Freon yeah. or huffing or things like that? Uh, I think it's something to do with huffing, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like glue, sniffing glue? No, uh, I don't, I don't, he's not, it, he shows me a bottle and then like inhaling it. Okay. And, and when you said huffing, he's like, yeah. So, but he showed, he, a big, huge problem for him is he's taking pills yeah. Um, he shows me like a line of bottle of pills. And I think there are different types of pills. Okay. Uppers, um, downers, the uh, opioids. Oh boy. And, and weed and alcohol. I mean, there's a lot of everything. You said a, a tweet to Kanye West. The next thing we know, you are gone from this earth. What happened, dear soul? Were you murdered to keep you quiet or your death? Was it just an accident? Uh, so it was, he did this to himself. It was, he was not murdered. Um, no. Uh, accidental, but he shows me that he's playing with fire and for quite a long time. Like it's obviously it's a metaphor, but he knows what he's doing. Okay. Why did you tweet Kanye? Uh, mad respect. Okay. All right. Uh, it says you drowned in your tub was that what it ended up being yeah that's correct okay uh what caused your death that's the same they stated you oh that was me all right so you was it painless death i guess you just went to sleep and drowned frankly it was a relief yeah i was not uh myself the last few months but of his life but it looks like um, he's showing me he would go through periods of time where he would, you know, 
clean up his act, so to speak. Yeah. And then he kind of would fall into yeah. this black hole is what he shows me. So it, he went through several of these periods of time. That's very typical. Yeah. And, you know, that's what he was doing. I mean, he was he was in a black hole. Now, tell me about your transition. Can you describe what that experience was like? He says at a lot of relief. He had a moment of disbelief, but not surprised. He felt almost like, sounds weird, but it's like a breath of fresh air. Like, I can finally breathe because he wasn't operating really as himself. Yeah. He was operating really not, there was no, like what would you would call his essence that you would be able to, Oh wow! you know, he's there, but he's not there. If that makes sense. He's like, he's calling himself a shell. Oh, wow. I think that negative entities occupied some of the space in your energy. Yeah, he would agree. He would agree with that. Okay. Um, several, um, he doesn't know a lot about that, but he can see that he had negative influences. Okay. Like possession by negative entities or, you know, um, you could, you could call it that. Okay. Uh, all right. So go ahead and, and describe, did you see a white light? You know, did you uh, meet somebody? He says that- it feels to him, like he's showing me, showing me, um, the bath. And then it feels like he continues to float. It's like a feeling of floating, of weightlessness, but there's also a feeling of water. It's interesting. It's like he wakes up in water too. Oh, okay. On and the other com- side. Uh huh. Yeah. He goes to sleep in water, but he wakes up in water. And there's a, he feels overwhelming relief. Relief is the, prominent feeling he still feels some a lot of relief honestly yeah he just it was too hard and he has um so family right there he's like he gets he stands up it's like this feeling of floating and he stands up he's looking down and his feet are still in this water and it feels like this water is somehow cleansing or clearing or purifying him is he shows me like it's almost like it floats away some of the negativity from really? his life and it's all white around him but there's water almost like up to his knees it's weird he didn't expect it to be like that that's cool um, did you believe in the afterlife before you died yeah he did he okay. did um he's he's showing me he's a sensitive person yeah, i bet you know he is a sensitive person and he he thought about God, but not like he didn't really dive into it when yeah. he was alive. You know? Right. Kind of like me. It's like oh, there's probably something out there, but I don't, know. don't have time to think about it. All right. He says until you do. <laughs> until you do. Yeah. Um, so who did you meet? Just basically like grandparents. Or- um, he shows me his grandparents of a female figure who's younger okay um i it feels like a close family member a cousin or maybe a sibling and um his grandparents um this male guide this male teacher is there we're kind of ready to take him to the rehab facility he calls it but it's not really a rehab facility that's just what he calls it yeah this probably he said he's, well he's making kind of a joke a little he's saying he's been to rehab a few times yeah it's not like what you've been through mm-hmm. when did you start suffering from depression and what caused it like was it purely chemical um, or was it past life related was it self-loathing i mean i don't know you just uh, um yeah depression he's about 12 13 okay. uh he oh i just feel it right here there's a lot of um shame he feels a lot of shame. Um, he's suffering. He's gone through a lot in his childhood. He's gone through a lot. Um, it mm. feels really, really dark and pretty painful. Um, like and uh, sexual abuse. Uh, yeah. Emotional. Oh, yes. yes. Emotional abuse. Yes. Physical? Emotional, physical. Yes. Sexual. Um, he's not trying to like. He, he has love 
for people in his family and he's not trying to put people down, but it all happened and he just needs to say it. Yeah. Well, all, it all happened to and the, they had to, so. uh, his parents are, were, are out for money. He says they used us as, um, they're showing me like, uh, the image of, he says, just tell, tell him what I'm saying. I'm like, okay. They're showing me an image of like, almost like, you know, like gambling where you're like raking in the, you know, oh, like yeah. at the, where you yeah. get all the, I don't, I don't really gamble, but you rake, get all the money. It's like yeah. that kind of image of just like all for me, all for me. What do you think they loved you and your siblings? Um, no. Oh. no. So how many people were involved in the abuse? Let's start with the sexual abuse. And we don't have to tell names, okay? Okay. If you want to uh, in the family and the well, business. he says he was abused by someone. It looks like in his family, but what um, he's trying to say is that person in his family was also abused. Like there's a oh, yeah. lot of dis yeah. severe dysfunction. Yeah, it looks like, bad. but you know, this is called the human experience. This is the contract that he helps. Says, oh. Yeah, and he can see what he's starting to see he's starting to see he can see through some of this rehab that he's going through that like the reason but he wouldn't wish this upon anyone right okay what was the reason for it was it about self-empowerment about self-love about teaching somebody else something i mean many things probably um he says it, the family I chose in general was a like a rebalancing of some sort. There was a um, he's not talking about the sexual abuse, right? He's okay. that's something different. But there was a particularly with his parents, there was a rebalancing happen or like a karmic like agreement. Them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It looks like there was a karmic agreement and then they sort of like almost like as if they flip-flopped roles. Yeah. And he had to learn what it was like to experience the other side of the coin because he's showing me a coin. So it's like somebody that doesn't, that takes, you know. Right. That makes sense. Did your parents know about the, the sexual abuse? Yes. And did they do anything to try to stop it? No. Did they say why? Mm. He says they. Is this this video may ruffle a few feathers. He say. I know we might be asked to take it down, but okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm like, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he's saying that he like there's a his his mom it looks like says she didn't know but he thinks she did okay and maybe just so subconscious she didn't want to think that that was possible did you have addictive earthbound spirits that yes uh, yes you overcome your he shows me three yes he does he's three just like uh, like entities or something negative attached to him that are compelling him to use negative entities but there's also earthbound spirits which are a little bit different um because they're they're like you know a girl that died of suicide no i don't think it's that he's showing me it's more like beings from other that are it comes uh, through portals yeah something like that he doesn't know he's not an expert in this sort of thing but he, th he there is something negative attached to him yeah that is fueling he shows me like fueling some of this addiction yeah because they yeah. live off of misery they feed off of misery yes yeah. so, um, his life was really a struggle yeah. it was not this is he's says he hopes that he can come he can learn from this he's really really is committed to learning through this process but he doesn't have a lot of really um, he loves some people on the planet and he loves his fans. He's grateful, but he doesn't have like that many positive things to say about his last life. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, could, could a healing 
even a scalar energy healing have helped heal you? Most certainly. Yeah, he says you're good at what you do. I've heard. Eric says. Well, it's not just me. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But did psychiatrists misdiagnose you? Did you know you could do scalar healings for a crossover? No, I didn't know oh, that. They're just telling me that. Wow, I didn't know that. You said oh. you would appreciate appreciate it. Okay. Oh, I did. I did not know that. That is so cool. Yeah. Write that down. Okay. Um, but usually I have to have your physical address, but okay, that's not going to be possible. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, did the psychiatrist misdiagnose you, Aaron? Um, no. Well, yes and no. He says, um, it, some of what he experiences is a result of severe trauma. It, okay. like what may, you know some of his mental illness and yeah. like how he experiences mental illness is a result of really just like he shows me I mean I'm not seeing details but like almost like a soul fracture or oh wow that happens as a result of some of this really you know intense trauma that he goes through and this is what happens to people trauma is very you know gotta if you have a lot of trauma he's, he wants me to give this message take time to heal from it find people that can help you heal you know this it yeah. stays in your body yeah the divine team and i will help you guys yeah uh did, so did the psychiatrists any of the psychiatrists know that you were abused yeah they do they do but it's he says the way it works is very uh fractured meaning okay. they'll just like almost like a not all psychiatrists but the ones I think he went to or the, it's like this is your issue take this pill instead okay. of really trying to get to the root well, that's not uncommon so yeah. do you think you were over medicated by psychiatrists or uh, yeah but he wouldn't take them all oh. the time oh okay. and so some of his addictions is like he's trying he's showing me I'm trying he's trying to medicate himself like he's oh, trying yeah. to you know i got the right pill for that i understand it I, yeah I imagine uh do you still feel yourself wait do you still feel like yourself after passing or do you feel like a different person i feel better i feel relief i feel like myself again I, he before didn't he feel well. before all yeah well he didn't feel like himself you know he wasn't himself it was a shell of himself you know it wasn't who he was authentically that we're talking to right now okay how do you what do you think about the music over there uh he says he's making a joke he says it's a little boring but we'll spice it up oh good you just do that yeah uh when you were struggling was there anything that would have made a difference or changed the course of your events except for the healing we talked about anything Yeah, his main message today is to take time and heal your wounds. Take the time to do it. They don't go away. Yeah. Mm -mm. Find somebody. This is Eric's been talking to him about this. Find someone that can get help you get to the bottom of it and clear it, you know, and it may take time, but that's he never was able to do that, you know. Mm. Mm. Was being a, pop, a child pop star sensation part of your soul contract? Yes, but it was forced upon him. Mm. And he doesn't have, I don't have uh, fond memories. So I you feel- didn't, You didn't enjoy being a star at all? I enjoy aspects, but I didn't be enjoy someone forcing me to do something. Oh yeah, who would? Hmm. I think it's sort of like his parents. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Like one girl who died, what is her name? I can't remember. The little and her mother had ovarian cancer. Kaylee Anthony. I can't remember. All right. Have you spoken with your grandma? And if so, can you share her thoughts on your life and actions? Oh. He, he says she gave me a she gives gave me a good talking to. Oh boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's laughing. Um 
look, you and I both know my actions were not very positive. Yeah. This is a good, if I can say anything today, it's to say, avoid drugs at all costs. Don't get involved in that. Yeah. Find somebody to help you with your pain. It is not the way to go. Okay. Uh, what kind of spiritual contract did you have with your parents, knowing that they stole your uh, childhood earnings from you? Is it that we've already talked about? Or are you you're about the balance of karma or you want to add anything? Uh, in? There's a balancing here. He's, it's like he's learning as a, he's like there's there's a sensitivity that he has that i'm just like oh my god poor guy really i can feel it it's just this really beautiful sensitive soul you know that, that's so vulnerable empaths yeah yeah and there's an aspect of he he hasn't feel like he's like integrated at all yet because he's kind of still going through this rehab process Right. right now. So he says to get back to him. He'll he'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Uh have you connected with other artists and child actors that went through the same trauma on earth? Mm. Yeah. He says it seems to be a theme. Wow. Okay. It, it working as a child has a real downside. Yeah, you're supposed to have a childhood. He like, had to work. He had stuff. to work. He, he, he loves actually, he did love some aspects of performing, being on stage and some, sometimes, but when you're forced to do something, it loses its like luster. Fucks the joy out of it, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Um, you seem to have had so much pain and obstacles throughout your life, such as a toxic family. What else, uh, what does it feel like now to be in your spirit body away from your addictions and earthly troubles? I think we already talked about that. And what was it like reuniting with your sister? Okay, who passed, uh, uh, that must be the female figure, sibling, mm. uh, who passed before you. And um, his sister and him like, have, they have a lot that they're working through. They are, it's not, it doesn't feel like anybody in his family is a particularly easy relationship. There's a lot of turmoil, unfortunately. Oh, um, on the other side? No, they, they've reconnected, but they're kind of like talking. They're working through their problems. They're coming to understanding. They can see why things happened in their family. Like you have this perspective, he says. It's, it's oh, kind of amazing. A thousand foot view. Everything. But so it, it's good. It's good. He's glad he saw her. He's glad he's there with her. But not, none of his life on earth this round was easy. Well, maybe the next one. So um, so she died of, an, uh, of, you know, I guess an overdose as well. Was mm -hmm. she also, did she experience a similar trauma? Yes. Something, the, some, I, he's not showing me who, who I don't, this part I'm not too sure about. No, I don't but, want to. Yeah, but um, she, somebody's hurt, hurt her as well. And then she in turn hurts other people. Like, it's just a very yeah, it's a terrible, vicious cycle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, what can you uh, tell us about the ritual initiations that go on in the music industry? I didn't know there were. And did you partake in any of them? Are there ritual initiations in the music industry? Um, yeah, uh, he has heard about some stuff like that, but he doesn't have anything to speak to that. Okay, so he wasn't involved. No. So you, Whitney, and her daughter, Bobby, Lenny Bruce, Elvis, Jim, Jim Morrison, Dorothy, Dan, Dandridge, Judy Garland and more all died in bathrooms. What's that all about? Does that mean something? Is it a ritual or just happened to be or? Um, when you're out of your mind, it's easy to drown. Oh yeah, that's true. Or, you know. When you kind of, he shows me he's like unconscious. Yeah, but you know, they, they didn't all, well, several of them did die in bathrooms, water, but 
you know, elderly. he can't really speak to why people are dying in bathrooms, but he says for him, it, it, he was out of his mind. I mean, he was yeah. not in his right mind. So, okay. all right. Did having the famous brother hurt or help you in the music industry? Mm. It was, it was a hard, hard relationship. Oh, really? Oh. Um, it, it's not all his doing. Oh. No, he contributed to a lot of the pain in the relationship. There was a lot of kind of fighting or okay. difficulty. It's not easy having a famous family. No, he wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Was your brother also abused in any way? He doesn't want to speak to that. He would okay. rather, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, he's still alive. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Wow. He loves his brother very much, and he wants to say that and set the record straight. Yeah. Yeah. Any other messages for him? He, you know, he's a good guy. He loves his family. He cares for me, and I didn't know how to be a brother. Yeah. So he he's also just wants to take some responsibility for, you know, his part in what okay. happened. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's okay. on a better path. It yeah. Looks like, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Will any of the people who sexually assaulted you and other kids in the music industry get what they deserve, or will there ever be a way, a stop? He to says it? he hopes so. Yeah, but he, this, he, you know, free will he, and all that. Well, he he really hopes so, because can you work from that side when you when you find your footing um, he's smiling he says let me get through a rehab first okay. but yes when they give me a job all he's that could be a possibility yeah i think it would be really wonderful help addicts or help um the abusers or help the abusees I mean, there are all sorts of things that you can do eric's giving him some ideas. i sound like a college cou counselor <laughs> you kind of do you're like well you could do this or you could do that you're yeah. great yeah. <laughs> he's, he thinks it's cute he likes it <laughs> You're giving them some good ideas. Okay, I'm sure yeah. you can. Well, anyway. mm -hmm. What had you come to earth to learn in this recent lifetime? And do you feel you got to self, learn? Self forgiveness. Oh, yeah. Self forgiveness. Okay. Uh, learning to love himself. Although he says he did not, not accomplish that. Well, Rome is not built in a day. So it might take a, that's a tough one too and sometimes that takes hundreds of lifetimes to really he says he, oh he's he's kind of self-deprecating he's a key like, if you can say, like he, yeah he says he failed miserably oh oh you'll get it right and there's no such thing as failure failure is the stepping stones to success he's he's looking over at eric and he's like you have a you have a good mom <laughs> all right i'll adopt you erin don't mm -hmm. worry uh, you okay. go, he should, he likes that. You kind of take him under his wing, under your wing. Yeah, him. you'll help him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any message for to your parents? Um. Maybe not yet. I don't know. Not not right now. I get no. the feeling that you're gonna say that. So, um, I hope you learn to forgive them because you know it's like the, that book, the little soul in the sun. I mean, we have relationship villains. He in can our see. He can see reasons for it. His parents have had difficult lives also yeah. and he can see reasons kind of why this just keeps going yeah. um the pattern the energetic patterns he's going, going yeah on. but he says he'd like to keep his messages because there's some kind of work to be done between yeah. them and that they can communicate okay and he's been in contact how did they feel when you when they found out you died how did nick and your parents um they're very, all very, very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, do they expect it? Any of them? Yes. Absolutely. Did they ever try? Everybody to... expected it. I mean, he's just saying everybody expected it. Did your parents try to save you from yourself? Did you a couple off? of times, but he's saying it, they, they do. There's a kind of lip service to some of it. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, they didn't it's want like, the ATM machine to die? Was it mostly that? He, uh, yeah. He doesn't think that unless we look, it's like, hmm, 
he's showing me like an aerial view and it's like, you know, if you have a wound, you have to get to the bottom of it and clean the whole thing out. Yes. It's, it, that's what needs to happen here. Everyone needs to kind of do work on themselves exactly. okay. and their family. So is there anything you wish you'd done differently looking back now? Where do you, where do you want me to start? Yeah. We all get addicted, I guess. Addiction is a, addiction is, takes over your life. That's all you think about, you know, and that's why he's, he's saying to people, even if you feel pain, find somebody to help you with it. Yeah. Do not it stay away from drugs at any cost. It's not the right way. Okay. So your mother is still present, but your father's on the other side. Which, who was the worst of them as far as trying to cash in on your fame? Uh, mother and father equally. Okay. Uh, when you met your sister, Leslie, and your father, um, well, we know about Leslie. Uh, are you with both of them now in some way or intermittently? Yeah, they, he is. They're, they're having, <laughs> in rehab, we have family meetings. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. So um, how did the first communication with your father go? It's weird. When you're not in a body, it's like hard to explain, but it'll try. Mm -hmm. You can see the reasons for everything. Yeah. Okay. And so he has understanding. He doesn't feel mad or angry in the same way that he felt on earth like it feels different it's, and they have some stuff to work out okay still I think there's you ongoing I'm not sure what about mm -hmm. nick did nick try to save you from yourself at all a number of times yeah he's tried who they, tried to save you the most a friend some of his friends so he had some friends that weren't so positive for him oh, um, that he hung out with um but he did have friends that tried okay. to say hey you know get help um it looks like his wife or maybe a girlfriend okay um she tried to help him a number of times but just he and he he did he went through periods where it was yeah. better yeah but so, it just didn't, wasn't, he wasn't able to stay sober. Any message for your uh, girlfriend slash wife? Um, tell her he loves her very much. And, you know, she's still very much like, she's not surprised actually. He's saying, mm -hmm. uh, he's saying it's not her fault. She's blaming herself in some ways. And he wants her to know that this is nothing. This is not her fault. Yeah, that's good. Is there a lesson uh, that I got three questions left? Is there a lesson we are supposed to learn from your death, Aaron? Besides, don't do drugs, of course, that's an obvious one. Find a way to learn how to love yourself, protect well, your it, okay. If I can learn a lesson from my life, if you can learn a lesson from my life, learn to accept yourself as you are. Even if you feel different, just yeah. work on accepting who you are. He wants people to work on accepting who you are. Because he says if he had done that, he might have had a chance. Yeah. And you guys can also go to atlantiscaler.com and get some help with the main service. That he, also he likes that idea. He thinks yeah. you're pretty good at it. Yeah, well, I have a lot of help. So, um, so... I lost my train of thought. What was it? Um, anyway, I just feel your energy is so sweet. But yeah, I mean, you're whole and part of God. What's not to love? You're perfect in every way. Well, he didn't I know that. I know, yeah. but I, I'm yeah. saying also to the viewers, you, you are perfect in every way. And there's nothing, there's no bad or good. There's just everything is lessons that have very valuable teachable moments um do you want to describe a, another life that affected your this last one the most yeah of sure um he said you know it's interesting 
he says he feels humbled and that's that's one valuable um thing for him okay because he had a lifetime where he was like not humble at all okay very um he's a man he's an older man and he is very like into himself narcissist exactly a taker he had kids oh mm, i get it parents yeah (laughs) he had kids but he would he's just taking from everybody he's always taking so that's so there's uh that's why there's like you know he said the other side of the coin that's what this is where weird and what century was it in uh recent and it looks like it's in um india huh oh interesting yeah what did you make your kids go out in the street and beg for money or something i mean how could you yeah take- he he was a very difficult father he didn't act very caring he was not kind he was not loving he he, he took he have took you been my people. father <laughs> no he says he hasn't yet like but that. this there is a way in which he needed to learn humility and he needed to learn the experience of, um, you know, having the tables turned okay. here. Okay. Um, do you have anything else to say to your fans out there? Besides the fact, of course, that you love them. As they love you. He says he's grateful for all that they gave to me. And to your parents. <laughs> Kidding. Well, he's not talking about really he's more Funny. talking about just like love because yes. he felt feels like that love that he feels from people who love him and love his music um is like something that he didn't get from a lot of other people in his life mm-hmm. so there's it really really deeply touched him mm-hmm. that people could love him that much mm-hmm. you know yes uh, as your other mother, I love you. So is your mother going through, is she going to evolve in some positive way, you know, since your death? Uh, is, is she changing he, he, at all? He, he hopes so, yeah. And, and he, he, he wants to make the, set the record straight. He does love his mom. Oh, good. That's good. I just can't believe she doesn't love you. She must have some love for you. She does. She loves me. Especially in, in the way she knows how. Okay, well, that makes sense. Uh, is there any little known fact that's kind of fun or cute, quirky? He about- says he actually has a really funny sense of humor. Oh. Um, that he can be re- like, he can be really funny. He can make a whole room laugh. Okay. Um, like when he, you know, when he wasn't using or when he's being himself, I mean, he can make everybody in the room just like fall over laughing because he's really funny. All right. So um, what do you think about my boy, Eric? Uh, he, they have a lot in common. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they really like. I don't know the two of them standing together. It's just like I'm like, whoa, hi guys. That's um, so funny. Yeah, um, Eric's teaching me a lot. He's really grateful because Eric has been through this yeah. process, and Eric knows what it, he's showing him how to get on the other side of this. Good. Um, because there's a, there's some steps. It's like when you come. He's showing me when you go and cross over when you're like kind of this compromise, there's mm-hmm. some steps that you have to go through. It's not just like bam, you're you're good, mm-hmm. you know. Eric knows that. And Eric when I don't all of Eric that. went through a, all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's showing me there's a lot of similarities in what what they had they've had to do, right? But he's in it and he's doing it and he's taking responsibility. He's doing it. So oh. it's good. All right. Well, thank you, Aaron Carter. And thank you, Aaron. He said he has a big smile. He has a cute smile. He's yeah. Um, he says, thank you. Cause he, he, he keeps showing me, you put him under his wing. You like him. Always welcome there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, thank you, Eric and Courtney. I love all three of you and I love you too. Thank you. With Courtney, she does every, almost everything, probably everything. Um, uh, at CourtneyDillon.com and please share this with not his Aaron's mother, but um, share this uh, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next one. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Thank you, everyone.
拜拜。Love you. Bye. Have a good day. Love you too.